Here we go. Now I would call this some more decent wet weather testing. Oh. All right, guys, I guess it's that time again. Hey there, Duff here. Happy Sunday. I don't know, we might just get a rain test in here. There's a very gray clouds uh, framing the area, so we'll see. I'm just doing a very quick ride to the um, to the nearby Dunkin' Donuts and uh, maybe stop in and see how the park is progressing. But I think that's all we're going to be doing. Now the the, um, the ride is twofold. Of course, it's nice to ride. This is the only time I've gotten to ride so far this weekend, and it's you know 4:30 Sunday afternoon. And secondly, I'm trying to get the battery level down on the V12. Right now it's at like 46 or 47 percent, so I did promise to test low battery characteristics to uh, to you guys. So I do plan to do that. Marty's very interested in seeing the behavior as well, so. You know, if Marty wants something, I, I gotta do it, right? Yes, I still have sound wave on. Some people didn't like it. Some people do, some people don't. I happen to be in the, uh, in the like it camp. So before I get much further, I just wanted to take a second to thank everybody for their uh, well wishes. Uh, from the video last week where I talked about Cindy and I splitting up. Uh, there are a lot of nice comments, uh, both for myself and Cindy, and I appreciate that. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know, thanks. Anybody else take the time to watch the teardown video that InMotion published for the V12? Didn't look, uh, didn't look that bad, didn't look as bad as the V11 teardown, and it definitely is easier if you're just like trying to get to the motor and the tire, you know, to change a, a tube or a tire, uh, that is definitely not too terrible. So I was happy to see that. The background music they used in the video, uh, it drove me insane. Just saying. Hey, look what I found going through my shit. My, <laughs> my Insta360 Go. I, um, hell, I, I, I really almost forgot that I had it, to be quite honest with you. For me, it's kind of limited in its functionality, but uh, right now I'm, I'm hopefully shooting a time lapse that I'll post on Instagram or something. So, yeah. I mean, you can do some very creative things with it. I guess I just haven't, uh, I haven't tried to be very creative. I need to lengthen you a little bit. There we go, that's better. Did I mention that the Eagles won? I don't know. Did I, did I mention that? I don't know. I, I forgot if I did. Yeah, Eagles won. I was happy about that. Something to be happy about because I have really had no idea how good or bad they were going to be this year. But evidently, they're uh, at least they're not terrible. They won a game and they look pretty good in doing it. So I was happy about that thing. Yeah. One other thing I want to do besides testing the low battery performance of the V12 is... Ow, ow. Is... Um, dropping the pedals down to the lowest position. I, I have uh, heard a couple of accounts of people that said that when they, uh, they reduced the pedal height to the lowest setting, they, uh, they felt more stability, they had less uh, speed wobbles, so I'll do that. Although I have been fine with it at the, at the highest height, and it is nice to have that clearance, but I'll drop it down to see what it feels like. So let's see, what, what exciting news is there this past week? I've seen more of the uh, more footage of the Gotway Hero, the new suspension wheel. It looks, you know, it, it looks like they're far along in the development cycle, and yeah, you know, the wheel looks looks decent. You know, when I talked about it before, I think it, it it is not a horrible looking wheel. The suspension performs well. 
uh, with a upgraded power plant to what the S18 has. Sounds great, and especially if they drop the price like uh, supposedly they're going to be doing, is dropping the price to be more competitive with a wheel like the S20. So yeah, we'll see. Hero is interesting. And I actually rated it above the the uh, veteran Abrams and the the uh, extreme bull commander in my interest list. Hey, I feel some rain. We might get some wet riding performance in here. Oh yeah, here we go. All right. Most people hate to be wet. I don't really care. All right. We might get that wet riding test in. This isn't, no, uh, it might just be passing, we'll see. But right now it's, uh, it's, it's raining for sure. See like drops and stuff? Question is, can I drink coffee in the rain? I think so. I don't think I, I could drink coffee in the middle of a tornado if I had to. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, we are getting a little wet. But to give this a real test, I need a, I need a good amount of water on the surface. my glasses. Uh, in every life, a little rain must fall. Is that right? Is that, is that how that quote goes? I've had a little bit of rain lately. But who doesn't? Everybody has rain. Nope, we're riding out of it. It's all right. Not much of a test, but a little bit. How stupid is this? I just rode out of the rain and I feel bad. So I'm going to ride back to the rain. <laughs> see if I can see if I can get this thing a little bit uh, wetter. It's really stupid, though, right? Wouldn't be the first time. All right, here comes some more rain. All right, getting a little wetter. Riding through puddles. All right. There Sidewalk and roadway is is now thoroughly wet. That's what I was looking for. All right. I think this is good. Let me um, let me set up. All right. Here we go. Now I would call this some more decent wet weather testing of the V12. The road is wet. I am wet. We have some steady rain. All right, that's good. Now the road's starting to dry out, so should have gotten a decent amount of water to throw up in, inside the wheel there. Now, in theory, the Emotion V12 does not use a hollow motor. So, in theory, 
it shouldn't have the same issues that the V11 did, hopefully. So we'll find out. Okay, rain test over. So those of you that uh, you know follow EUC News, you'll know that a couple weeks ago when the um, when the veteran Abrams was announced, it was announced uh, to be a 116 volt wheel, I believe. And I think Mickey was one of the ones to announce that early, if I remember correctly. And it turns out that the Abrams is actually a normal 100.8 volt wheel. This week there was also a rumor that the King Song S20 was going to be a 100 volt wheel, not 126 volts, which that one really made little sense because it was such a poor part of the announcement. I mean, it was on their website. I mean, that made no sense whatsoever. And it turns out in, in uh, the S20's case, that rumor was not true. Uh, there's a possibility that early versions of the wheel, you know, testing other components of the wheel might have had a 100 volt power plant, but the production wheel will be 126 volts, so uh, do not dismay. And I was glad as well. I am uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited about the S20. Looking forward to uh, getting one as soon as possible. And of course, as soon as possible means not very soon. <laughs> That's just the uh, reality we live in. Riding into a pretty significant headwind here. I'm on the, um, the entrance to the fairgrounds, which leads to the park. Just gonna do a quick loop through the park just to see um, how close they are to uh, you know getting the sucker open. Originally, the open date was supposed to be July, and now the latest I heard was fall, sometime in the fall, so. Sooner the better. I think this would be a great place to go with DJ. I just saw a uh, baby DJ a couple hours ago. Well, actually, not just actually, actually like an hour ago. He was out hanging out with me for a little bit, had lots of fun, played with trucks. Uh, he likes to use me as a jungle gym, runs around me, jumps on me. Uh, yeah, it was a good time for everybody. All right, just like before, there just seems like uh, just the, the bigger outbuildings are still uh, under construction and I don't see a big, at least I, I, don't, I don't notice a big difference in, uh, in uh, progress there, but who knows? Construction can be uh, slow in Collier County. Lots of potentials for delay. But, so, but you know, part of the park, they just, they threw right up. So I guess maybe once you get into the buildings, it gets a little slower. Who knows how well that'll show up on camera? Probably not well. I think the, I think it's, what's the shit show on there? Battery level 28%. So we are getting it lower. The way that the V11 behaved, for those of you that don't, this is like, this is expert camera work. Camera skill high, very high. The way the V11 behaved was, I was able to go, you know, fast. I, I was going, you know, low 20s on, on my way back from the Ave Maria ride. And then out of the blue, and I think I was between 10 to 20% when this happened. I just get this like, uh, I can't remember what, what the verbiage was, but it tilted me back hard and fast and I, you know, going in the low twenties and basically one of it, it, it didn't have any reserve. <laughs> so I thought, okay, well I'll, I'll put on this, this great go home mode. Oh, right there's the pickleball courts, I believe right here next to us. Yep. The pickleball. That's something I need to try someday. But anyways, yeah, it, it went to uh, this low, uh, like get the hell off me mode. I did enable the go home mode, which was supposed to, you know, get you a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but, but a decent amount of additional range at slower speeds. And I got hundred yards, <laughs> hundred yards. And then it, it basically was unrideable. Just it. so um, I'm hoping they fix that with the V12. So I'm gonna, I'm not, I haven't charged it, you know, since uh, last week when I did the DD ride and I don't plan to charge it. 
This is going to get me down there, down close to 20 probably by the time I get home. And then I'm going to just ride around my area and see what the behavior is. I still haven't gotten any sort of tilt back or warnings even at this lower battery level, but I'm not, I'm not going 30 miles an hour either. I'm keeping my speed, you know, in the, in the low 20s tops. So I am trying to be uh, proactive. <sighs> All right, guys, I guess it's that time again. <laughs> it, I'm just kidding you. It's been a while since you've seen any extreme riding here on the channel, right? So let's go. Extreme. Extreme. Into the freshly laid sod, powering through it, hitting the S turn, going back in the sod. Oh, yeah. And back out. Look at that. Going around that island like an expert. Whoa. Extreme. I mean, I mean, if you want extreme riding, you know, forget Chooch's channel, man. Just, just stay right here. Okay, I wasn't really thinking, and I looked down, and the speedometer said 50 kilometers an hour. So <laughs> you'd be a little careful here because I am showing 29% battery, so. So yeah, you can, you can touch 30 on this at 29% and not get a warning. No warnings yet. And I know I'm jinxing myself because I'll probably get like one warning and get thrown off the damn thing, but so far so good. So there is one good thing. Well, it depends on your point of view. It might be a really bad thing <laughs> depending on what you think, but um, with my new situation, I will be able to live stream pretty much whenever I want. I anticipate live streaming more often uh, just because, you know, it's nice to talk to my virtual friends. <laughs> so, yeah, look for more live streams on the channel. And maybe I can get Marty on here. Maybe some other people. We'll see. Hey, one thing I wanted to mention, because um, I've had success in the past doing it this way. This is a little bit different, though. Uh, those of you that are familiar with the Dualtron that, that uh, I have, the Dualtron 2EX Limited, that was a scooter that um, I bought primarily for Cindy to use, and she, she actually has it right now. But it isn't very practical for her. So I am going to be selling that thing. I believe when I bought it, it was $2,200. Uh, it more than likely has less than 500 miles on it. Has a top speed of 40-ish. Uh, dual motor. Um, accelerates like a like a bat out of hell. And yeah, I'm gonna be selling it. So I don't I don't think I had the box. I think shipping it would be a nightmare. So this would probably be something that would be best handled uh, with a local pickup, unless you have uh, the the. The opportunity to provide me a box and pay for the shipping yourself, but yeah, Dualtron 2EX is going to be going up for sale soon. Well, it is now, I guess. So let me know. All right, we are home. Battery is now at 25%. So I think things will start get interesting based on my V11 experience. Probably once we get below 20. So. I will make an effort. Maybe sometime this week I can get out there. We'll see. After work, maybe. All right, guys. This is going to wrap it up for this video. Got to get a little bit of a of a rain test in. You know, there, there was some substantial water on the road there. Um, as far as precautions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lift it up and let it spin out. Just to, just to try to spin out any extra mo moisture, which I never did on the V11, which is probably a bad idea. We're going to let it spin out, and uh, hopefully we don't have any bearing issues on the uh, V12. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. Um, behind me is my, my second Tesla Model Y. Did some, I, I um, put the mud guards on today, put in my two console trays, put on the screen protector. I've already like videoed that stuff before, so I didn't video it again. Loving having the Model Y back, just, uh, I don't know, just FYI, just let you know. Um, and the only other thing I have coming for it is I'm going to 
pull the hubcaps again and I got uh, Tesla now sells the actual uh, lug nut covers for the Model Y before I put on the ones for the Model 3 and it looked a little weird they actually do sell a set now that works for the Model Y and it's starting to rain here now. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's starting to rain here a little bit more as well. So feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below about the ride, about anything. And um, yeah, once again, thanks again for your kind words. And uh, it's much appreciated. Till next time, Duffman out. Okay, let's spin you out, Mr. V12. It's kind of tough to do without hitting the deactivate button, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's an interesting behavior. It actually turned off as I did that. All right, let me do this again. Maybe I, I think I tipped it too aggressively. Oh, wow. All right, I saw 87 on the screen before it turned off. Good to know.